In this video, we're going to start to look at some operations we can do to combine several functions together in various patterns. One simple type of combining of functions is adding functions, and we use this notation f plus g of x, and what that really means simply is just take f of x and add to it whatever g of x is. So with numbers, what we can do is we can evaluate both what is f of 3 and what is g of 3, for example. And then, because this is addition, we will add the results. And with variables, it's even sim even more simple because all we have to do is add the two functions together. And as we do, it's important to use parentheses around each function just out of good habit here, but as we get to some more operations with functions, those parentheses are going to make a large difference on the result. So for example, here we're told f of x is x minus 4, g of x is x squared minus 6x plus 8. We're asked to find f plus g of negative 2. What that really means is find out what f of negative 2 is and add to it whatever g of negative 2 is. So let's find f of negative 2. That means we plug negative 2 into the function labeled f. Remember I said f was a naming convention. It does not mean f times x, it's just f of negative 2. That tells us to go to the function f and replace x with negative 2. Negative 2 minus 4. Well, negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Now we have to find the g of negative 2. Well, that means we go to the g function, that tells us where to go and each of the variables is going to be replaced with what's inside the parentheses, inside the function, negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. A little more work here, but not hard. We can square and multiply, so we have 4 plus 12 plus 8 is going to be 24, and we add that all together. And going back to what we were asked to do, we're asked to add those results together. Asked to take negative 6 from the f and add the 24 from the g to get our result of 18. f plus g of negative 2 is 18. How about example 2 here? We're asked to find f plus g of x when f of x is x squared minus 5x and g of x is x minus 5. Well, what that's really asking us to do is find f of x and add to it g of x, and that really means we're just going to use the functions. f is x squared minus 5x. And then we're going to add to it whatever g is. Well, g is x minus 5. And simplify that. Well, we got to get rid of the parentheses. There's really nothing to distribute. Positive 1 doesn't really change anything. It's x squared minus 5x plus x minus 5. And then simply combine the like terms in the middle to get x squared minus 4x minus 5 and we have our simplified result. So with adding functions with a number, add the two solutions. If it's variables, we're going to add the two functions and simplify to get our final result.